Holy, it's been a minute, man. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Dubs Daily. Uh, quick little video for you guys. You guys see the title. Just a quick update on what's been going on and what's going to happen. Plans for the car, its current state. It's, you know, just me telling you guys about what's been going on. So here she is. Honestly, I'm sorry about how dirty it looks. Like, I haven't washed this in probably a month ish only because it's been getting colder the ground's been looking nasty and in my eyes no real point of washing it right now but i should wash it because this looks nasty i'm not gonna lie uh I, i'm driving every single damn day anyways uh yeah current update on the car and its current state the wheels stock um mark 6 gti rims 18 inch side skirts it's the oem gli side skirts um what else have i done i replaced the fenders the hood and painted them black as you guys see uh got my headlights here that i did well opened up myself and painted and then got the wiring done my boy lower days gen shout out to him for that because i know a lot of people love it and wouldn't have been able to get this done without him so shout out to my guy uh got the honeycomb grill like honestly guys it's not this is all basic stuff like quickly Oh, oh, that's that's not good. I had no clue that was like that. That's not good. Well, um, yeah, this is gonna have to get sorted out because this is it's, it's pretty weak right now. This is not good. Well, there's something else that's gonna have to be fixed. But um, besides that, what I mentioned: side skirts, hood fenders, headlights, um, my clear side markers. I installed those not too long ago, actually, probably like a few weeks ago. But didn't make a video on it. it wasn't that serious. Um, exhaust at first cut out my resonator cut out both mid and rear mufflers and installed the four inch tip which i see is getting rusty as due to its material so it's rusting a lot faster than other tips would so but honestly in the future i'm gonna be putting on a little cannon muffler um because yes it's it's still pretty loud it's cleaner because i did put a vibrant performance resonator in check out the video um put a vibrant performance resonator back and i still have my mufflers deleted but i honestly want to put one muffler back at least a little aftermarket muffler i don't know what style i'll go with but we'll see in the future um black trunk red like honestly as i said guys nothing crazy has been done to this car um interior wise interior wise the only thing i did was my little shift boot delete and shift knob there um got my ig and youtube there follow the ig you guys see it um and then my very last project which was you know my best mistake that's the best way to put it actually my best mistake was cutting my springs um got the i didn't get the look i wanted but it's better than the look i wanted to be honest like this is it's the beautiful stance i'm not gonna lie but of course which i was aware of and which a lot of people warned me of was the ride quality um it wasn't at it wasn't that bad at the start it was not that bad at all and then i started to it, it started to kick in i got i cut um half a coil not half a coil i cut it was a quarter half i cut half a coil more sorry half a coil more in the front i believe after i finished the front springs i cut half a coil more and that's when it got scary like on on smooth roads it's fine it's honestly completely fine no problems but as soon as some bumps start kicking in and divots and potholes and all this shit i'm not gonna lie like my ass is flying flying out the seat it happened a few days ago where i actually got lifted out the seat and and my foot came off the pedal and, and everything like it was it was crazy so yeah my, my best mistake i got the look a lot of people love this damn look but if only you guys could experience i know many people already have experienced what cut springs feels like but if only you guys knew what the hell this shit felt like like i i'll honestly the only way i'll do this ever again is if i have three cars not even two three so that kind of leads me into my plans for next year all right so plans for next year um i'm, I'm kind of wrestling between 
few options. Um, for those who I've told, or for, th for those who don't know, before buying the Jetta, I actually had my hands on the 2002 uh, Celica. It wasn't the GTS, it was just the, uh, the Jetta. It's 2002 Celica GT manual, 147,000 uh, kilometers on it. All it needed was a brake job, I believe, and I did feel that when I test drove it. But um, yeah, I just needed a brake job, and it was $2,500. These days, you're not gonna find a working car with very minimal problems and that low mileage for $2,500. So before I got the Jetta, I purchased that, and I was looking at it, and then decided to you know, see what interest would be. Got a crazy coat. Or crazy potential quote but i didn't want to take the risk so i'm like you know what it's not gonna be for me unfortunately and um then the jetta kind of fell into my hands you know it was timing it was money it was just, this is just the right time i guess you know it, it was there for me so i got it and you know I, i've grown to like the car of course while owning it but in my heart i know it's still not me i'm a jdm guy at heart never I told people who told me to look into Volkswagens before getting this, I always told them a Volkswagen was the last option on my list because there was nothing that was really appealing to me about Volkswagens. You know, okay, like it was eh for me. But of course, as I just said, while owning it, you know, I've grown to like it more. So, but yeah, so leading to what I was originally gonna talk about, what I'm wrestling between is. Um, next year, planning to get a. I'm, I'm trying to get a project car to be like a real project car, not my daily that I use as a project. And then when this falls apart, I have no other car. I don't want to go through that again. I went through that with the Mazda. When I got rid of the Mazda, I had nothing for a few months, and then I got this. But so next year, I plan to get a project car. I'm still. I'm wrestling between these two options. I want to get a Celica because I have. I have it. I have that car planned out in my head. Everything that I want to do to it, but of course I just don't have it. Uh, a Celica, or honestly, a slept-on car that many people, some people don't really mess with, but I personally like it because I see the potential in it, and I've seen what some people have done to it. But I know I'd make mine a lot more different. Um, shit, what gen is it? I think it's. This one. Fourth, yeah, fourth gen Eclipse, a fourth gen Mitsubishi Eclipse, preferably the V6 model, manual. It's, it's underrated. It's underrated. Y'all can look at actual post some pictures of what it looks like modded. You know, some people may own one, some people might not have seen many, or if they do see it, it's just regular people driving it, and it's, you know, nothing really interesting about it. But I know I could make it look interesting. So I'm wrestling between getting one of those two cars as a project, but at the same time. I still have plans that I want to achieve with this car and you know I I don't really know what to do there's a lot of things I would love to do to this as a project but I don't want to have two project cars because okay. pockets oh shit sorry empty candy wrapper no, no. yeah you know like that's that's a lot of fun so it's either I just keep this as my daily next year and get another project or make this my project, my official project, and just try and get something else as a daily. And I wouldn't want to get a Celica or a the Mitsubishi Eclipse, yeah, as a as a daily, you know. I just I would love to make those a project. So I'm wrestling between those two things. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. The time's not there yet. Honestly, my main focus is making it through this winter with this, sorry, this damn ride height. This damn ride height. That's my main focus right now. I promise if I make it through this winter, um, I'm gonna take care of this car a lot better because it was running a lot fine. It was running a lot better until I cut my springs. When I cut my springs, a lot, it, everything just went to shit. I'm starting to notice other problems. And, and feel different things and then the drivability of my car has changed and like which i am you know was kind of aware of what was gonna happen but i didn't know it would be to this degree so next year i'll be taking care of this car a lot better put it on lowering springs definitely need to get some tints and fix up that damn interior let me show you guys i'm pretty sure you guys have seen it in a few of my other videos but you see that you see this 
hold on you, you, you see that you see oh shit you see those staples you see back there that 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 volkswagen headliner sag it's typical for these cars it needs to go um interior things i wanted to do was steering wheel change uh paint this black actually led lights need to go all around in the interior um maybe change up the seats too and as far as interior that that might be it and maybe a few more exterior mods uh touching up the body a bit more and you know i had a few things planned not not too many um but honestly i'll probably make an official video of plans that i have for this car but once i really come to terms with what i want to do with this car then you know you guys will see that but um yeah that's just my update for you guys with where i'm at with this car it's future plans and and all that um yeah i'm gonna cap off the video right here it's actually a very nice day out today but you know sun's going down it's getting cold so my fingers look like, like i look like I'm, I'm 60 right now so yeah i'm gonna cap it off right here y'all show some love man like comment subscribe share you guys know what to do man follow me on the gram dogs daily underscore underscore all right show some love i got more content for you guys coming i promise all right Ooh, ooh, it's cold. All right, you guys know the vibes, man. Stay tuned. I'm out.